Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Monster Legends video. So in today's video, we have a new maze island. So yes, there is currently a new maze island, which brings this amazing monster uh, lord. So you can finally obtain this mythic um, through the current maze by basically just doing your coins collection. And if you don't really, uh, let's say if you need help with uh, your coins collections and stuff, this video is the one. Okay, so this is how I actually do my coins collection every time I get on. So I collect a couple of, um, let's say, gold from my habitats. For example, I do one, two, three, four or something, right? Once it gives me like at least 10 to 20 coins, it doesn't really matter how much you get. As long as you get a couple of maze coins out of it, um, that's when I actually stop and I head over to my food farm and I collect basically almost all of them except the last one. You want to leave the last one. Once you do so, you want to head back to the rest of your um, habitats that are filled with gold and you just want to go ahead and collect. Once you get a couple of coins like that right there that I just got, I basically just head over back to my food farm and collect that last one. And look, it just gave me some maze coins there. So once you do that, you, you're done with gold and food. Um, hatching and breeding, this is the most important part, I'd say, or one of the most important parts, actually. Um, so take a look at this. What you want to do is breed two Tundra uh, monsters, um, more specifically two Tundra Eagles or two Tundra Mythics. If you don't have two Tundra Eagles, um, let's say you don't have them yet or you don't really feel like hatching and stuff, but you do have two Tundra Mythics, then you can just combine two Tundra myth Mythics just like that and start to breeding. It'll take four hours. Uh, here's what I recommend not doing. Two Tundra Legendary Monsters because there are chances of you probably obtaining like Jenny or something. So yeah, the combination gets mixed up. But when it is just pure element two Tundras, right? Like two Tundra elements like these ones, uh, where they're just Tundra and nothing else, then uh, that'll get you a um, Tundra Eagle 100%. So um, what I do, I just breed a, a two, like two Tundra Mythics. That's what I do. That is exactly what I do. So I go ahead and combine them four hours. Once four hours is done, you want to set a, t a timer up on your phone or something. And you want to just log in. And after those four hours, take that. Um, you'll get a Tundra Eagle on your hatchery. After four hours, you want to sell that Tundra Eagle and that'll give you 50 coins. And basically, you want to repeat the process every four hours. Now, you'll be done with uh, breeding and hatching. PvP is another one. Um, not too many players really do this, to be honest, because it only gives you 15 coins and they're like, you know what, it's just 15 coins, like, I don't really need it. Uh, but if you really want to do it, uh, go ahead, it will help you out. So, PvP is uh, pretty easy um, because you do have unlimited attacks um, and... With unlimited attacks, you can do a lot. So let me actually just charge up here. Actually, I'll go ahead and remove another 50% um, of your stamina there. All right, your armor kicked in. I'll just go ahead and do spooky here. Let me just put it on 4x speed real quick. And um, basically continue attacking here. Oh, okay, he's almost dead. He used bloody roots. I have a megaton, so I don't really care about that. I'll just do spooky again. The Reaper on you because I don't want any resurrections. We get rid of you. You're gonna come back. I'll just use Flank with the Devil. And now we just have to worry about this guy. And uh, by the time um, he actually trade disabled me, actually, he didn't even get rid of the Megatons yet. But anyways, I'll just go ahead and quickly eliminate you as well because you are a problem here. There we go. So, victory. And it'll give you 15 coins just like that. And you only get 15 coins, I think, every. Two hours or something. I might be wrong. You guys, um, I need you to ch check Discord, okay? Either my Discord or the Monster Legends official Discord. Um, but you could just log in every four hours. And once you log in four hours, you do your hatchery, right? Your hatching, your breeding, um, feeding, and also, of course, um, basically everything else in general. So every four hours is what you need to do uh, for these things. So for feeding, it's super, super simple. If you are running out of food, then I just recommend feeding some someone that's like at a lower level. Um, but if you don't really care about that and you have like lots of food, you can just go ahead and feed someone with, you know, it doesn't matter what level it is. You just want to feed it and that'll give you some maze coins. But anyways, what I recommend you guys doing is taking advantage of the discount. The discount is really, really important. Okay. So we started off with 30%. Right now it's 20% on um, the moves, right? So it's still 20% in the next hour and 46 minutes. And I went ahead and moved a lot. Yeah, take a look at this. I moved this much so far. I'm not sure how many cells I have at the moment, but um, I think I have a lot. 
Uh, so you just want to basically get a, at least 100 or so before the end. And um, go ahead and craft the monster. I believe there will be another path right after. But I might be wrong. Because we saw a path for Ulrika right after. So they brought like two more paths for her um, after the monster was out. So, uh, But we're not done with all the collections. Another most important one is this right here, Monsterwood. Man, <laughs> I can't stress enough. You want to watch as many ads as possible. Um, every ad you watch, 20 maze coins, it just adds into your account. 20 maze coins over and over again. So you just want to watch as many ads and finish them all up if you can. Um, so, so far as you guys can see, I think I watched like 15 ads or 20 ads or something right here. And um, yeah, that's just that. There will be a cooldown, which will be like, wait a couple of hours or something before doing another. So you do want to wait for that. But when it's available again, you just want to finish it up and get as many coins as possible and spend it while there's a discount here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to continue doing that. And um, hopefully I'll be able to get the monster before... Um, it goes away, but yeah, make sure to do PvP and also feeding because I feel like not too many players do that. Um, so you do want to set up the timers and stuff just to like log in every four hours and so that you can get your mace coins. And like that is actually pretty important. So even at night because you you don't they don't allow you to use the um, mace coin collector ticket. So you do want to log in at night, like set up a timer or something. So I recommend doing that. Okay. It'll help you out with the maze. But anyways, so that is basically pretty much it. You do want to get the monster. It is a pretty good monster, I'd say, especially on offense. It's really, really, really good. Um, but yeah, overall, just make sure to do your collections and get the monster. <laughs> so that is basically how you do it. Make sure to do monster wood once again, if you do have access to monster wood. And then I recommend watching as many ads as possible. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching today's video. And um, I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, drop a like, subscribe with notifications on, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.